So good morning ladies and gents. The sun is out. And after a few disappointing days on other stuff, uh, it's about time I had a positive vibe. So I thought I'd get the jet mountain bike out. So let's go from the start really, I'll give you a quick run over how everything works. So for the throttle, we've got a motorbike electronic twist grip. That goes into this little box that contains a, a linear pot to PWN output circuit that drives the ECU of the jet engine. So basically, red light is power, green light means it's running. When you want to stop the engine, kill the uh, engine run switch, and then it'll do the cool down cycle whilst there's still power. And that is operated from these two switches. Everything's on quick release so it can be removed, stripped down, repaired if needs be. Then we have the fuel tanks. They're connected at the bottom by a couple of uh, push to fit. So let me see if I can show you underneath. There we go. So they go down together, one feed output into the box where the fuel pump and the ECU is. Fuel comes out into fuel filter into the engine. Battery, that is a temporary measure at the moment. The engine is mounted on eight rubber shock mounts, which I think you can just about see there. So I start off with power onto the engine, ECU, gives me a red light. Initiation of start sequence, which to start the engine we have to just give one quick twist to the throttle. Next few seconds are the glow plug inside the engine warming up to atomise and heat and ignite uh, the initial bit of fuel. And it'll spin up, purge the combustion chamber of any gaseous fuel so you don't get any explosions. Then it'll slow down on light and you'll hear a rumble. Very similar to the rumble you'll get in the uh, central heating boiler. And then we have light up and the motor will spin up with the fuel pump with more and more fuel. shut down the engine but there's still power to it. The starter turns the rotating core to purge of any exhaust gases, any fuel, unburnt fuel, that's what the smoke is out the back. Bring the temperature of the engine back down to safe limits, at which point it'll stop. But well, that's not really that exciting. And that'll do I think. <laughs> 